almost didn't see you there. <laughs> but I guess now that we're all here, <laughs> we might as well have a little homeschool lesson. We might as well have a little education for little Timmy and little Sally. Fix the dozer? No. <laughs> no, we're not going to have a lesson on how to fix the dozer. The guys in the shop would ridicule me if uh, they figured out I was trying to teach people how to fix dozers. But uh, I think we'll have a philosophical lesson today, if you will. And that lesson is going to be on doing things you don't know how to do. Let's face it, 90% of life, you know, things you don't know how to do. So, eh, stick around. We'll have some thoughts. We'll have some fun. If we get the dozer running, we'll knock some trees over. So the other week, I'm uh, cruising down the trail in my 6'4", and I get this distinct sound of a four-banger going down to a three. And I said, oh, oh, that's diesel. Oh, that's diesel that ain't being burnt. Short of the long, we need an injector line here. And like I said, today's lesson, yeah, I technically know how to work on a dozer. Nah, but I've made a life out of doing things I don't know how to do. So, if I can share some philosophy with you, little Timmy and Sally, it's exactly that. Like I said, 90% of life, doing things we don't know how to do. But, you get out and do it. It's passed down to me many a years ago, uh, a little poem or a speech, if you will, from one Theodore Roosevelt entitled, Dare Greatly. Oh, I'm not going to recite it to you right now, but the homework assignment, look it up. Give it a little read. Well, here's a teachable moment, little Timmy. Well, Sally, technically a socket would be the right tool for the job. But I'm far too lazy to walk back to the truck to get one right now. So, part two of today's lesson is, if you don't know what it is, it's called a dingus. That's a technical term. Remember it. Write it down. Dingus. Hey, hand me that hose with the dingus on the end of it. Or, hey, I need that dingus that puts us back together. Use it in a sentence for you. You're welcome. Number two is, when in doubt... An adjustable wrench will do the trick. Huh, it'll do the trick every single time. And number three, brake cleaner is a solution for all your cleaning problems. Let's get back to work. So we done chased injector one over here to our first cylinder injection point, whatever you all mechanics might want to call it. We're going to break her free so we can get some juice back to her. She wants a little juice, a little bit of a happy go-go. <laughs> Sometimes that free diesel wash your hands for you. A little bit of that free diesel wash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me assure you that this dozer's old enough. They sure don't have the proper line for me, so we'll do a little rigging, we'll do a little jigging. We'll start this bad boy up. As they might say, the proof is in the pudding.
purring. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm a man of my word. Dozer's running, trees are falling. 